next next slide. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, what, what's going on in the uh, uh, telecom industry right now? So uh, nowadays mobile operators are uh, in uh, nowadays mobile operators are interconnected by using roaming technologies. So it's a uh, technology is uh, rather convenient for end users, but it's uh, very complex and very expensive for mobile operators. It takes uh, years and millions of dollars to sign, to sign uh, hundreds of uh, roaming agreements with other operators. With most of agreements are with commitments to make integrations, with, to test and support all this system. So as a result, uh, the roaming technology is expensive for, uh, for uh, operators, especially uh, virtual mobile operators, and as a result, uh, it provides high retail prices. Uh, but blockchain changes the rules. So it's, uh, using blockchain, mobile operators can interact with each other via smart contracts. Just a brief uh, case. Any operator can publish its offer, which mobile service in which country it provides. Uh, for example, if you talk about the uh, UK operator, they can publish that, okay, I have a mobile service, uh, one gigabyte for ten dollars in the UK. This offer is via blockchain, is visible to all other mobile operators, so US, Russian, Chinese, and other separators. For example, the US operator represents this offer to their subscribers. Okay, if I have a global coverage, I can offer for you good, pri good prices for, for the UK, one dollar, uh, ten dollars for one gigabyte. If subscriber likes this offer, he pay, he, he pay money for his, uh, his home operator, and the <coughs> operator, a uh, US operator creates a smart contract for UK operator. This smart contract contains First of all, digital identity of subscriber. Uh, his name, passport ID, discount, passport, uh, picture of the subscriber, and so on, in order to identify the subscriber. And second point, uh, the smart contract contains a financial transaction uh, directed from one wallet to another wallet. So, and as a result, UK operator, by executing the smart contract, receive money and identify the subscriber. Uh, and it can start servicing the subscriber directly. So it's in order to provide direct connectivity, it's necessary to download mobile profile on the uh, SIM card. Uh, there are two technologies nowadays. It's, uh, uh, one is uh, eSIM, it's in progress, I think, I think it will be available uh, within one or two years. And the second technology is uh, uh, downloading over the air using 4K platform. <coughs> um, uh, SIM vendors already provide this solution. So it's not a problem to offer such SIM cards for subscribers and uh, provide local coverage uh, with local prices uh, for them. Uh, so, yes, as a result, any operator can become global without uh, any agreements with hundreds of operators, without uh, integrations with them, complex integrations. Uh, the process is seamless for uh, subscribers and uh, it provides local prices because this offers uh, provided directly by local operators and it costs nothing for operators to become global. It's a very interesting case, which is already available for all operators independent of their size. For small operators, for which mobile operators, it doesn't matter. They can participate in this ecosystem. So in order to simplify um, this, all this process for a subscriber, we're preparing a customizable mobile app. So using this mobile application, that any customer uh, can select one of available offers on the blockchain. Uh, also, this uh, application allows keeping a phone number when the local mobile uh, profile is downloaded on the SIM card. So the uh, home operator can uh, forward all uh, incoming voice call, post into application, and subscribe is in line with uh, keeping its uh, phone number. Also, this application provides a digital identity. It's uh, also a very interesting case, one more revenue stream for uh, mobile operators. Just curious how it works. So it's, uh, first of all, the uh, subscriber uh, fills out a form with uh, its personal data into mobile application. Then uh, it's, uh, his home mobile operator validates this form, validates this data. Uh, it can do it because uh, home operator knows his customer. He already signed an agreement, uh, agreement with them, he already validated his password and all other personal data. Uh, then a home operator publish hash, not, not the personal data, but hash of this personal data on the blockchain. So it's a first step. The second step, when any physical operator or any service provider would like to verify a subscriber, he sent a request to, um, uh, to into my mobile application, like to get information about this subscriber. Subscriber confirms if you like to share his personal data with the uh, visit operator and send his personal data to uh, to operate. And the last step is very important, how to validate if this, is, if, uh, this uh, personal data proper. So, and in order to do it, this operator calculates hash of this personal data and compares this hash with a validated uh, one of, uh, which was 
which was uh, done by uh, home operators. <coughs> so as a result, it's possible to validate a uh, customer without any physical contact with them. It's available for any uh, service provider, for any operator. It's a new way how to how uh, digital identity could work using blockchain. One case, I think, is the most interesting how any mobile operator can offer many, many value added services for their subscribers without any integrations, any agreements with multiple service providers around the world. So, if the principle is the uh, same. So, any service provider who provides music, TV, antivirus, cloud services, publishes, offers on the blockchain. For example, I offer music uh, $1 per month uh, for uh, customers. A uh, mobile operator can uh, bundle one of several offers into a premium package for their subscribers. For example, for 30 pounds per month, they can offer 10 gigabyte traffic, uh, music, TV, antivirus, and personal cloud. Here is a premium bundle. So a subscriber signs for this uh, bundle, pay money for uh, home operator, and home operator creates smart contracts for service providers. In this case, no need to have any integrations, any agreements. And operator can offer many, many new services to <coughs> their subscribers and increase their revenue. So it's an interesting case which works via blockchain. So, just, uh, so let's summarize some benefits for mobile operators. First of all, any operator can become global. It's a very, very easy way. Second point, they can offer uh, uh, on mobile services for inbound travelers. Nowadays, uh, it's an issue, a really great issue for mobile vision network operators. Uh, all this process launching uh, is going without investments in a very, very short time. Uh, also, uh, mobile operator can offer many value added services for subscribers and increase own revenue. Uh, and to uh, offer new uh, service, not connected as a service, it's a new revenue stream for home operator. Uh, so, just a few words about us. Uh, uh, 20 experience in the telecom industry, we have own uh, regional mobile as a operator, more than 200,000 subscribers, so we know the pains of uh, uh, in this business. Um, uh, and we have already developed um, some solutions. So, first of all, it's a public on application, which I demonstrated earlier, and uh, um, uh, global mobile data exchange for exchanging mobile profiles. Now, this is a proprietary solution, and now we transform it into blockchain to become its open. To build an open ecosystem is our target, and we invite all the great all the community to do it all together. So it's a not easy uh, mission, but I think all, all together we can do it and discover many many new opportunities of uh, blockchain and improve the whole telecom industry. So if you have any questions, if you have a booth, small, small digital services here is exhibition hall. Welcome. We can discuss any ways for cooperation. So thanks, thanks for your attention. So I'm waiting for you. Thank you.